<laughs> so this little video is all to do with your neck. You have seven, 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 seven bones in your neck. So it's a little bit longer than your lumbar spine because that's only got five. But if I said to you, lengthen your neck, most people go like that. I don't mean the front of your neck, I mean the back of your neck. Can you lengthen this bit here? Because a lot of the time when we're sitting looking at that crazy laptop or looking at the screen, um, we do this. Because we're lost in the screen. <laughs> looking, looking, looking. And look how much of the neck you lose when you do that. It probably goes back down to being five. <laughs> so we kind of lose these top two or three here. And then these at the bottom here get a lot of stress as well because we tend to round and hunch. So we end up looking like that with no neck. <laughs> yeah, poor neck both ends gets a bit of a raw deal. So what can you do? Oh God, who could you do? Who knows? So um, here we go. Focus on your nose. <laughs> Draw a line with your nose. Okay. And as you know, like a little nodding dog. So when I was little and the little, um, little doctor surgery had this little nodding dog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it makes me think of that. So you're just going up and down, up and down like that. So it's not a huge movement at first because you're just noticing as you go up and down a little bit with your nose as if you're saying yeah I'll have that chocolate cake thank you very much I don't care if it's breakfast time or dinner time I'm just going to eat it you'll notice that with the base of your skull can you notice the curve of your skull put your hands around there if you're not quite sure can you notice can you feel that moving on top of your neck and how much space decreases and then increases decreases increases you might feel if you get your fingers in the right space underneath the curve of your skull, you might feel some of your muscles move in as well, tensing up and releasing. Yeah, you can go bigger once you get used to what's going on. You can make a bigger line up and down. Hmm. So where's the middle? Where is it up and where is down? Up is up and down is down. But where is uh, up and down for you? Sometimes we get stuck in an up and think that we're already in the middle. And we're going like that. I'm going up and down. Can you go all the way down and all the way up? Where is the middle? So when you find the middle, and if you watch a certain program on ITV, you know that the middle solves the riddle. <laughs> yeah, all right. And then you go from right to left or left to right, whichever one you're going. So think about drawing a line with your nose. Let your eyes swallow. Can you draw that line quite smooth? So it's not jumpy, so your eyes are quite smooth. As if they're looking at the horizon. Smooth, slow, steady. So it's not jumping. Ooh, that makes it feel very different. Can you let your eyes go in the opposite direction? <laughs> Can you do this without your chin poking forward so you're not creating this shortness in the back of your neck? Mm. And come back to the middle and draw a circle. So quite smooth. You know the, the shape of a circle and you know the shape of a square and you know the shape of a egg. So do the circle, <laughs> not the square or the egg. So if there's a little bit of tightness and creakiness going on in a certain part of your neck, you might find that you will not quite get around there. It might be a bit of a square and it might be a bit of an egg shape. So just slow it down to notice that. And can, can you go back the other way? Can you unwind it? Don't hold your breath. So be aware that your breath's still flowing. So if you're holding your breath, that tightens up your neck. <laughs> yeah. You turn completely counterproductive. You notice the back of the head is drawing a circle on the wall behind you. Yeah. There you go. So three simple, easy, too easy really you think that's not going to work. <laughs> but your neck, if I show you from this amazing Thomas Myers work, the fascia, this is blue stuff, it's not really blue but in the body, <laughs> it's just to show you, to illustrate you, to show you to see that this is what it looks like. This is the trains that it runs in the back line. There's your neck going into the back of your head. 
obviously it affects what's going on here and affects what's going on down here in the back of your pelvis but it also affects the amazing hamstrings and your calves in the back of your feet so if your neck's a little bit like ooh, forward on the you know on the computer or whatever it is you're doing um it can if you've got tight hamstrings and you've been stretching your hamstrings forever and a day and who hasn't really maybe it's not your hamstrings that are the problem maybe you'll have to ask your hamstrings why are you doing that why are you always tight i've been stretching you forever you know don't you get the hint maybe your hamstrings are thinking yeah you know i'd like to let go i'm a bit tired of being tight but you know what i can't do it because your neck's out there and you're kind of tightening up the fascia here so it's kind of like you're pulling the string and it's kind of too tight up here so let's go let's let's do some work on the neck and we might actually find that we can let go everything else that's going downstream of that back line of fascia hmm. what a thought <laughs> right, so one more i'm going to leave you with find your collarbone obviously you've got two there's a little indentation in the middle here so find your collarbone and use the pads of your fingers to just slightly from your collarbone pull the skin as if it's going towards your armpits you're not going straight down you're going on a diagonal and let your head go in the opposite direction do what pull it in the direction of your armpit diagonal and your head goes in the opposite direction all right so your ear is going towards your shoulder so your chin is towards your fingertips yeah down there now lift your chin upwards so you're creating more space is if your chin is moving away from your fingers your fingers are pulling the skin and then let go and then do it again let go and then do it again let go and do it again now you're going to stay there you're going to stay lifted with your chin and then turn your nose towards the ceiling you're still pulling with your fingers but you're holding it there with your fingers and make your, shoulder, your opposite shoulder is down so you're not hiking up towards your ear so your chin is now towards the ceiling your face is towards the ceiling and you're still gently pulling the skin from your collarbone if it feels out you can let go and pull again so you create this length here okay so let's go on to the other side oh look pink now nice just create an extra blood flow sorting it out pulling the skin gently 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 as if it's a fine piece of rice paper and you don't want to break it up and then start to move the head away and you might notice on one side it feels tighter than the other and then stay there and lift your face towards the ceiling quite nice you can use the other hand to help you if you want to so i feel it more on that side than i do on that side and then release it relax your jaw and then put both hands on your sternum, which is your chest bone, your breastbone, and breathe into your hands. Just breathe into your hands. Just notice your sternum moving as you breathe. So you can do those movements that we just did with the nodding and the side to side and the circling. You don't have to do them all at the same time. If you don't have that time, you can think about when you were sitting at the computer uh, just think about, you could probably just do the head nods. Or the nose. Mm -hmm. You can do them as a sequence, or you can just do one and then think about it another time. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the supermarket, just hoping that people are going to get out of your way. You could just go in like that, and they think, oh, she's saying no. What are you doing that for? You're just doing your head movements, your neck movements. <laughs> So obviously your breath affects your neck as well so nice breathing here opening up the chest opening up your ribs there you go simple neck exercises happy practicing